Youngstown Fire Chief Barry Finley has repeatedly said that even with the fire station closed on a rotating basis, even with one truck being taken out of service, even with fewer officers, the city is still safe. Every station has a truck and no one has been laid off. But at tonight's Youngstown City Council meeting, a woman with three generations of firefighting history disagreed and made her feelings known. Marie Rupert sat at tonight's Youngstown City Council meeting next to her husband and Youngstown fireman Jared Rupert. Marie Rupert is also a Russo, meaning her grandfather, uncle, and her late father, Ron, were also Youngstown firefighters. To say that the Youngstown Fire Department and its members have been family to me is quite the understatement. Rupert addressed council about the changes at the fire department in the past four months. The shutting down of the fire trucks and the fire stations is not safe for any person in the city. Rupert said while Youngstown's population has decreased, the city limits have not. She fears for those who live in the city and the businesses, especially those downtown, out of which one truck is being moved. Today, I am speaking to you out of fear. I'm speaking to you out of emotion, and I'm speaking to you out of worry and panic about what is happening to the Youngstown Fire Department. She said she also fears for the firefighters, their wives, and especially their kids. The kids whose parents put their life on the line for 24 hours every third day to run into your homes to save your life when they know that their mother and their father might never come home. But council members Lauren McNally and TJ Rogers both say they support the chief's decisions and his view that the city is safe. Uh, yes, I do agree. Like I said, we have, this plan allows us to keep all fire stations open to try to um, keep the response times where they currently are. The fire chief is the guy in charge, right? He knows he's supposed to know all the ins and outs of how the fire department works. Firefighters Union President Tony Chacon called Rupert's remarks heartfelt and reiterated what she said about the downtown, that moving a truck could seriously affect that part of the city.